Hello, I'm Mel. I'm socialmediatraffic.com. This video is why and how to turn the confirmed opt-in on or off in the autoresponder get response. Let's go to our get response account and log in. We've come to our web forms list page and we've selected Traffic Travis, our previous exercise, and we'll go to settings and here we can turn it on or off. If it is preferred to leave it on, the, the confirmed opt-in requires the person filling in their details to verify them in a confirmation email sent to them. When the purpose is registration for an event, registration for a newsletter, or where nothing is offered for free, that's appropriate. If it's unconfirmed, they have their name and email captured and receive their product directly, which is okay for ebooks of any kind, as in Google Double PC advertising generated leads. If I wish to leave the confirmed opt-in on, I would press this icon for settings here. I would go to permission and I would select web subscriptions choose HTML and from field is the email address that I would like the confirmation message to come from and if it's not in this drop down list I would go to my account and my emails and if it's not in my email list here I would add a new from field new email address here and add it to the from field and that is verified by get response. We'll go back to our permission page. We look at message subject. There is the pre-approved drop down list or we can customize and there's a range of templates with your signature at the bottom. Confirmation page is hosted by get response and we can have a preview of that. And there's the confirmation email they get in return. I hope you found this information about why and how to turn the confirmed opt-in or off in the autoresponder get response. At the moment they are having a very attractive introductory offer and you may access that using this link here. For more tips and strategies you may go to my website I'm socialmediatraffic.com and thanks for watching.